All right, everybody, a lot of you have asked to see what our grounds crew is up to, so we're gonna do a little social distancing interview with Kenny and Justin from the grounds crew. Let's check them out. Hey, Kenny and Justin, can you wave hi? Kenny doesn't wave. <laughs> All right, let's start with the boss. This is Kenny. Kenny, how many years have you worked for the Tides? Uh, 44 years. So you started in what year? 75, I believe. All right, Justin, how many years you worked for the Tides? Uh, this would be my seventh year. Awesome. Here's Justin from our grounds crew. He's going to tell us a little bit about what happens when the game is over. You guys have all finished drinking your beer, eating your hot dogs, and you're going home. But he and his crew, they're going to work. So what happens, Justin? So after the games, we'll normally have holes on both sides of the plate. We will rake those holes out, sweep them out so there's no turfus or anything in the way, put water down, put more clay into the holes, use the tamps to tamp them so it's all smooth and flat and hard and then use the rake, we'll rake the turfus back up around it, smooth it all out, put the mats on, get ready to go for the next day. That happens every day? Every single day, sometimes twice we have double headers. Now this is all because baseball players do what when they're in the batter's box? They dig a foothold so they can have a, a, a toe hole in the clay and, and have a, a sturdy, I guess, stance, as you call it. And um, once they did, it depends on your clay, whether they dig a hole or not. If it's too sandy, like a high school field, they'll dig it right out here. We just have a little toe hole. And every right. day, every day you gotta fill it back in and make it flat again. Yep, every single, after every ball game. It's redone just like did this, we're all put back together. Well, let's take a quick tour of some of the equipment that Kenny and Justin use. Justin, what is this you're standing next to? This is our John Deere Gator that we get from quality equipment every year. Shout out to our friends at Quality Equipment. It's uh, definitely one of the most important pieces of equipment that we have here for the grounds crew. What do you use it for? Uh, we use it to move tools or anything that we, uh, any project that we're working on during the day. We'll uh, load it up, bring it out to wherever we're working, and then uh, load it back up when we're done. So it's kind of like a truck that you can drive on a baseball field. Correct, yeah, we've got, uh, it's uh, turf tires on here so there's no thick tread so it's not gonna tear up the grass at all. Is if it ele need... electric or gas? It is gas. We just saw Justin and his gator. Kenny, what do you got here? I got a John Deere triplex mower. It's a 7200, uh, bought it about five or six years ago. Uh, precision cut machine, cuts to within a half inch, whatever we need cut got a hood on to protect me and keeps me it's got a fan on it so I stay cool in the summertime so it doesn't I don't get overheated it's got cruise control uh, adjustable seat for my weight it'll bounce you and keep you comfortable and it's probably one of the best machines that the tides have ever bought is this something that someone might use at, at their home absolutely not this is about a thirty nine thousand dollar machine oh baby all right, you want to hop on it and give us a demonstration? Gotta give it a second to warm up. Of course, all good work needs a supervisor. Always. <laughs> 